Hi, my name is Luzina Rahman, Technical Marketing Engineer with Future Electronics. Today we will be talking about NXP's BLE System on Chip Solution, the QN9000 series, and we will also be demonstrating two examples from the QN9020 Mini DK Development Kit. Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard for exchanging data over short distances in the 2.4 GHz ISM band. Today's market offers two kinds of Bluetooth technology, Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth Classic is used to transfer larger files such as audio, whereas Bluetooth Low Energy is used to transfer short amounts of data between the two devices within a short distance. BLE is mainly used for devices using coin cell batteries. The host is allowed to sleep for longer periods of time and is only woken when the controller needs to perform some action. This feature allows for longer battery life and better efficiency depending on the application. Furthermore, BLE also conserves battery life by scanning fewer channels than Bluetooth Classic. NXP offers a portfolio of BLE system-on-chip solutions, making it easy for developers to create devices that are interoperable with the billions of Bluetooth-capable products already existing in the market today. NXP offers Bluetooth Qualified Body Certified Reference Designs, which make it easy for the customer to launch easily approvable products. NXP's BLE solution, the QN9000 series, presents ultra-low power consumption, longer battery life, and best-in-class wireless performance. It integrates a high-performance ARM Cortex M0 microcontroller, BLE radio and protocol stack with profile software on the chip, providing a flexible and easy-to-use BLE system-on-chip solution. NXP offers the opportunity to explore the product series with its development kit, the QN9020 Mini DK. It includes the QN9020 development board, a USB cable, and the USB dongle. It is complemented with a software developer's kit, QBlue. Despite being very low cost, it is a highly flexible kit that includes a USB dongle for interfacing to a PC, JTAG debugging port, and Flash programmer. The QBlue SDK includes 26 complete software code examples, along with 13 peripheral drivers. You can obtain the latest SDK package from the SDK support website at collabnet.nxp.com. Applications for the QN9020 include sport and fitness, healthcare and medical, remote control, smartphone accessories, PC peripherals, and wireless sensor networks. Today we will demo the QN9020 Mini DK to show the proximity and QPPS example. The first BLE example will demonstrate how the serial port profile, QPPS, works. We will need the QBlue tools, QTool, QBlue ISP Studio, QBlue and VDS configurator for this example. QTool is a PC tool found in the QBlue IDE that allows the user to set up a connection between the BLE dongle and the BLE device. In other words, QTool controls the BLE dongle. QBlue ISP Studio is a tool used to download the binary file, data file or NVDS configuration file into the BLE device. The QBlue NVDS configurator is a tool embedded in the QBlue IDE that allows the user to add, edit, and delete NVDS configuration data. Okay, now that we've covered the basics, let's get started. First, we will need to download the bin file to the BLE device. So, select the QBlue ISP Studio. Under Application, select Open File to choose the QPPS.bin file. Click the Start button at the bottom of the QBlue ISP Studio IDE, and then press Reset on the board. The bin file is downloaded to the board. If the download is successful, a message will pop up. Next, we will configure the BLE device. To do that, we will have to go back to the QBlue IDE and select the QBlue NVDS configurator. From there, we will change the device name. Once you've changed the device name, click the Burn button. When the Mini DK board is powered on or reset, you will observe that the LED2 light is on. It indicates that the QN9020 is in deep sleep state. If you press reset and then push button 1, LED1 light starts flickering. This means that the device is advertising and is discoverable. And now we will set up a connection between the Mini DK board and the BLE dongle. So now we'll go back to the QBlue start page. And this time, we will select the QTool option. Select the correct COM port for the BLE dongle. 
The USB dongle will show up in the device area and will be in idle state. On the right hand side, the settings options will show up. Under the generic tab, click scan. Our BLE device will be found. Select the BLE device and under the connection to peer tab, click connect. Now go into the client tab and look for the QPPC tab. Once you're there, select enable. Now we can see that the BLE device is receiving data. To stop the BLE device, press disconnect. All right, so now we're going to do the proximity example. This example simulates finding the mini DK board. First, we must download the proper bin file to the BLE device. We open up the QBlue start page and select QBlue ISP Studio. And under the application area, select open file to load the Proxer bin file. And now we will set up a connection between the mini DK board and the BLE dongle. We will go back to the QBlue start page, and this time we will select the QTool option. Select the correct port for the BLE dongle. The USB dongle will show up in the device area and will be in idle state. On the right hand side, the settings options will show up. Under the generic tab, click scan. Our BLE device will be found. So select the BLE device, and under the connection to peer tab, click connect. Now go into the Client tab and look for the Proxm tab. Once you're there, select Enable. Set the alert level in Immediate Alert Service area to Medium or High. Then select the right button. The Mini DK board will sound an alert. To stop the alert noise, you can click Disconnect in the Connection to Peer tab or press button 2 on the Mini DK board. The orderable part number for this kit is QN9020DK and is available through Future Electronics. If you'd like more information, please contact your Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com.